Hello everyone, my name is Barbara, I'm the owner of Spanish Spanish Paquitos and today I want to show you this fun free bilingual story, The Five Senses of Fall, Los Cinco Sentidos del Otoño and it's a fun little story here and then towards the end I just want to show you real quick it has something like this that you can either use it like this for like a little scavenger hunt if you want to, bingo, you can actually cut them out, color them and I'll show you a fun game that you can do with just these words of Otoño or fall and then I'll show you a cute little game that you can do that now again You can use it as many different ways as you want to so let's begin Fall is here. Let's explore the five senses of the fall season El otoño está aquí. Vamos a explorar los cinco sentidos de la estación otoño I see beautiful sunflowers. I see leaves change colors Yo veo girasoles bonitos. Yo veo las hojas cambian de colores. I eat delicious pies. Pumpkin pies are my favorite. Yum! Yo como pasteles. Los pasteles de calabaza son mis favoritos. Yum! I feel the textures of acorns. They are rough. The pumpkin is soft. Yo siento las texturas de las bellotas. Son ásperas. La calabaza es suave. I smell the fresh air fall. I smell pumpkins and rainy days. Yo huelo el aire fresco del otoño. Yo huelo las calabazas y los días de lluvia. I hear a truck. It has many pumpkins for the pumpkin patch. Yo escucho una camioneta. Tiene muchas calabazas para la huerta de calabazas. The end. El fin. And like I mentioned, it has a cute uh, little activity there that you can do and I'll show you how we can put all that together. So one of the things I did was just cut these out and what you can do is just either match them up, of course, and I'll go through the whole vocabulary here so you know what those are. So for instance, we have acorn, bellota, leaf, hoja, Sunflower, girasol, pie, pastel, calabaza, pumpkin. And then what you can do, now I have them in different colors of course, and what you can do is actually either use all the same color or you can just use them one for image, one for the vocabulary. And what you can do is just do a fun matching here, memory matching of all the images and words. So you can scramble these up and play a fun game of, of scrambling and matching these up. For instance, we're just gonna do quite a few here. Uh-oh, do these match? Uh-oh, no. And so what you can do is actually have this on hand if you want to, this little, um, this part of the, uh, of the free uh, book here. And you can tell, I have them somewhat in order here, or you can put them in order if you want to. Acorn is bellota, and this is not. So we can just put that to the side if you want to, just focus on that. Pie, pastel, that matches. Could it match over here? No, we're looking for calabaza. Now that one matches there. Pie, calabaza, or leaf, hoja, and leaf, hoja, pumpkin, calabaza, and of course, girasol, sunflower. So that's just a fun way to, to just get um, get into the feeling of fall, the, all the different senses of fall, the different types of things that you want to explore. And this can help you do that with a very simple brief lesson and then introduce into even more in-depth, of course, concepts of fall in English and Spanish and other bilingual stories, of course. Make sure to check out our, our shop. Of course, we have more fun fall stories and more fun English and Spanish learning activities as well. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you join me for another fun bilingual story. Bye-bye, everyone.